Hello, in today's episode of Deep Thinking with Chris, we will be dissecting the human brain and figuring out why humans become so addicted to fish aquariums. For real though guys, today's video is actually a viewer submission and somebody asked me if a person can keep an Oscar fish with a green terror cichlid. But first, I wanna update you guys on the red terror cichlids. Updates, updates, updates. They gave birth and the babies are doing amazing. You can see them right there. We have probably a hundred of them. Now, probably not a hundred, but maybe like 30 to 40 babies in there. Back to the topic though, viewer submission. The question is, Chris, can I keep green tear cichlids with Oscar fish? And as you can see, I'm doing it right now in this tank, but I, I wanna talk about this. Let's first give a huge shout out to South American cichlids because come on guys, aren't these some of the best fish on the planet? It's a medium sized cichlid, super hardy, full of tons of coloration, easy to breed. Like I am entirely obsessed with South American cichlids. And if you've known me for a while, you know it's always been that way. There's just been a soft spot in my heart. It, uh, I know you put a quarter in me and I'll talk about this all day long, but man, geophagus, green tares, Oscar fish. There's so many beautiful South American cichlids. All right, guys, so let's actually talk about this. Keeping Oscar fish with green tear cichlids. A lot of people, you know, for, first of all, the fish police would be like, excuse me, sir, that is not going to work. And in a perfect scenario, it's probably not the best idea. Like if you went to PetSmart or Petco and asked, hey, can I keep these fish together? You should probably most of the time tell them no, but for if you're a middle to advanced fish keeper, I feel like you can keep a close eye on these fish and this can work as tank mates. My biggest caveat with this though is when I always tell people you need to pay close attention to your fish when you're keeping mild aggressive cichlids together like this. And that means every single day, look at your fish see if they're beat up because you need to kind of learn when the fish is too beat up and to remove it and have a backup plan because you can see the fish in this large cichlid tank like look at that, look at that oscar fish right there he's been beat up but i swear to god to you that these cichlids live and die for this and it's sort of like uh it's just how they live but what i'm saying is have a backup plan for when a fish looks to be too beaten up you know like that oscar fish I would say maybe a little more beat up and then I'm gonna take them and put them in a more peaceful tank. But just guys, keep an eye on your fish. This is like an every single day routinely thing you need to be doing, looking at your tank and seeing like that is how you, the only way you can keep aggressive cichlids like this together because there is going to be fighting. There's no way around it. You know, it's like keeping aggressive dogs with each other. Every once in a while, there's gonna be a little skit scat, a little beat up you might have to break up. But for the most part, these fish will live together. Also, the other caveat is if you're, I mean, of course, if you have giant males, like if you have a male an Oscar fish with a green tear male, they're gonna have mating and breeding on their mind constantly. And that's gonna be the hardest thing to watch I mean, it's gonna be obvious if you have ginormous, aggressive males, they're not going to do well together for the most part, you know, in most case scenarios. I will also say that it's a lot easier to keep these fish together as juveniles when they're smaller, but when they hit that four to five inch mark, something just kind of happens with their maturity and they become a lot more aggressive. South American cichlids, man. It felt so good to talk about them. And I started thinking, I forgot about the jaguar cichlid. If you don't know what the jaguar cichlid is, there's a reason I tattooed it on my arm. Best fish on the planet. I'm obsessed. Guys, South American cichlids. I talked about all the geos, the green tears, the Oscars. There's so many cool South Americans. But anyways, um, I want to give a huge shout out to you guys. When I said to send in viewer submissions, you guys didn't, uh, you weren't messing around. I have so many ideas now for doing videos. And if you want to send more, palmeraquatics.com. Hit up the contact page or the viewer submissions, or if you just want to talk fish, send your ideas. If you plan to kill me, send it there. Uh, let me know in advance. No, but for real, uh, huge, huge thank you to all supporters of this channel. I never thought it would grow this much, 
and I never thought I'd find other people obsessed with fish tanks like myself. Uh, today I was driving down the road again, uh, uh, and I was finding myself, all I think about is fish tanks. It's like, this is some sort of sickness. I'm just ranting here, but, uh, hopefully that helps you guys figure out when thinking about, uh, keeping green tear cichlids with Oscar fish. All right, guys, give this video a thumbs up for the love of fish. <laughs> Subscribe.